What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. DeFi is finally coming to the Cardano blockchain with the launch of the Sunday Swap AMM this week. This is expected to be potentially one of the largest, most anticipated events in cryptocurrency this year. Cardano is a top 10 project and one of the largest layer ones with a extremely devoted fan base. And uh, people have been anticipating the launch of smart contracts and DeFi going all the way back to 2017. In this video, I'll cover what exactly is Sunday Swap, when does it launch, how can you get their Sunday tokens, what pools will be available for yield farming, and then what are some other upcoming DeFi projects on Cardano. And before I go any further, I want to emphasize that I'll talk about several projects in this video. Nothing I say implies that you necessarily should invest in them. This is just an informational video to help you do your own research as you decide whether or not you want to invest in Cardano, Sunday Swap, or other, pro other projects on Cardano yourself. Great. And so let's jump into what exactly is Sunday Swap. Before you understand Sunday Swap, first you have to understand what Cardano is. And if you are watching this video, you probably already have a decent idea on what Cardano is. But for those of you who happen to wander on here from a different part of YouTube, Cardano is a layer one blockchain that allows you to create smart contracts. It was founded by Charles Hoskinson, who also was a co-founder of Ethereum and is notable for his very large social media presence and his focus on decentralization. The, fo the launch of smart contracts and DeFi has been anticipated for years because uh, you know, Cardano first launched as a token all the way four years ago or so, and uh, and they've been peer reviewing their smart contracts for a while because apparently they want to build it in a way that it can scale while being decentralized. Uh, but in the crypto community, people do like to joke about, you know, when are they launching? And uh, it would appear that DeFi is finally launching this week with the launch of Sunday Swap. And and uh, another thing that's notable about Cardano is that they have an extremely devoted large fan base. So people who hold Cardano tend to be very devoted to the project. And part of the reason for that is that Cardano's mission is to unbank the unbanked and to bring financial freedom to the entire world, but with a focus on the third world right now. So their view is that there are billions of customers around the world who don't have access to a bank account, who don't have access to loans, who don't have access to a secure way to store their money. And Cardano was aiming to give them that freedom. So it's quite a noble mission, whether or not you think that Cardano itself is going to be successful. And then what is Sunday Swap specifically? Well, it is the first AMM on Cardano. An AMM is basically something like Uniswap or PancakeSwap that allows users to provide liquidity and trade tokens without a centralized order book. There is already a decentralized order book called Muesli Swap on Cardano, but in DeFi and crypto, people tend to prefer AMMs. And so so this is really, really uh, hotly anticipated. Uh, you can take a quick look here on what it's going to look like. This is just Sunday Swap on the testnet. Pretty sleek interface. Uh, looks similar to maybe Pancake Swap or something like that now. Clearly going for a fun vibe on here. And by the way, some people don't like when I talk about the aesthetics of things, but it is actually important because, because it matters for marketing. Um, for, for a wallet, you will probably want a NAMI wallet. And that and there's also ccvault.io, but NAMI seems to be the preferred option for most people. Uh, and, and of course, this will be on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, one reason that I think this is getting so much attention, and and I and I think this also has to do with the potential of the project, is that if you look at other chains, the Dex tends to do pretty well. So I ran some quick numbers, and to just give a few examples on the Avalanche blockchain, the main Dex or AMM. Uh, Trader Joe is around 1% the market cap of Avalanche. On Ethereum, the main Dex, Uniswap is around 2% the market cap of Ethereum. And on Phantom, the largest AMM, Spooky Swap, is just over 2% the market cap of Phantom. So you could say based on that, that you would expect the largest Dex to be probably somewhere between 1% to 2% of the market cap of the chain that it's on. And since Cardano's market cap is pretty huge, $46 billion, that would mean that the largest DEX on Cardano, if that Sunday swap, would would have a target market cap of somewhere around four to five hundred billion dollars, and uh, if not more, and and that is pretty large for a project that's just launching. And that doesn't even take into account that the 
market cap of Cardano could be boosted by the fact that it finally has smart contracts and DeFi launching on it. So that's Sunday Swap in a nutshell. Uh, and so let's talk about some of these other details that you'll need to know. Here's a post they made just a couple days ago. So one thing you'll probably want to know is when is Sunday Swap? And uh, it's launching this Thursday, January 20th, and it will be fully functional even though it's in beta. So you will be able to start using it. And then, uh, and, and so, so that's basically all you need to know about when it launches. And then uh, how do you get their Sunday token? So, so there's a few different ways you can get it. First is you can participate in something called the ISO, which I guess stands for maybe initial staking offering. Uh, I'm actually forgetting off the top of my head, but that that starts on Cardano Epoch 316. And if you look at the epochs here, that is also on January 20th. And then they have several epochs, so it goes until Epoch 320. And so if you're staking your Cardano with certain validators during that time, then you will receive an airdrop of Sunday tokens. There is a list here that, that uh, Sunday Swap published of the eligible validators. I'll include a link to this below as well. I'm not too familiar with these, so and I don't personally stake Cardano, so you'll want to do your own research if you decide to go this route. Uh, the only one I'm familiar with is ITC, which stands for Into the Cryptoverse, and that's the the staking pool of Benjamin Cohen, who's a popular YouTuber who talks about technical analysis and math, very smart guy. But other than that, uh, I don't know what these pools do, so you'll want to do your own research. But these are the pools that will receive the Sunday rewards. The other way that you can get Sunday is through yield farming. This will start on the 20th when it launches and it will continue at least until June. So they've said that it will go for at least six months. Um, I don't know if they mean July because if you do the math, you know, six plus one is seven, but uh, at least through June. Um, and the other way is, is of course, to purchase it on Sunday Swap. So, 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 so once it launches uh, and people are receiving it, they, 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 some of them will put it in liquidity and then, and then you'll be able to buy it on there. So, so, so that's basically how you get it in a nutshell. Uh, if I decide to do it, I'm personally probably going to farm it like I do with most DEX tokens. Uh, you can see that the staking rewards is actually a pretty small percentage of the total supply. So, you know, one, if it's 1% right when it launches, that could be decent because you're getting a decent proportion of the supply, but, uh, but 5% is, is just not very much supply to be distributed. Uh, but I would say if you're already staking, it's, it's great though. Um, what are some other things that you might want to know? Well, uh, you may also want to know what pools are available because if you want to yield farm, that would certainly be important. And you can see here that there's going to be, of course, Sunday ADA, ADA being the token for Cardano. There's going to be LQ ADA. LQ is the token for Liquid. And so Liquid is a DeFi lending protocol. There is WMT ADA. WMT is World Mobile token. So Speaking to Cardano's mission of banking the unbanked, it is a token that's intended for for use uh, in Africa and other parts of the developing world. And then there is Cards. So Cards is Card Starter, and this is already launched. This is a launchpad on Cardano, and and uh, launchpads typically do decently well. Although I believe this has already already pumped a bit. Uh, but, but so if you're interested in Launchpad and you want to get into two early projects, then maybe you want to hold some card starter. And, and probably there'll be other farms too, but those are just the ones at launch. You can see they're allocating 500,000 Sunday daily for the first six months of the DEX's operation. Um, and, and so so I, I think this is pretty exciting. And, and my thought is, honestly, uh, I think this could go either way, right? Uh, I think either this is going to launch, it's going to be awesome. Tons of people are going to want to use Cardano. Those $46 billion in market cap are going to flow into all these other projects as people who have been holding ADA for years finally get to use it. Or maybe it launches and it's just not, you know, not 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 what people expected. And 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 uh, and then you get kind of a sell the news event. You know, so we talk about buy the rumor, sell the news. Uh, and, and honestly, neither would surprise me. I don't try to predict these things. I just buy projects for the fundamental analysis long term or to yield farm with. Um, uh, but I will say that if this kicks off Cardano season, there are a number of interesting projects that you might look at. There's those ones I just talked about. Another one is Ardana, which is a uh, which is going to be sort of like Curve, as I understand it. It's a stablecoin ecosystem built on Cardano. 
although it seems as though it also maybe allows you to mint stable coins. Um, and then there is one called Paribus, which is another cross-chain borrowing and lending platform for NFTs liquidity positions in synthetic assets built on Cardano. That's pretty cool. And then if you want to see other projects, you can go to a website like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap and you can filter to the Cardano ecosystem and see all of these other things here. There's Charlie 3, which is in Oracle. There's Nervos, which is another blockchain partner with Cardano. There's some wallets like Jera Wallet. And, and then you can see there's a few other things here as well. And as more projects launch, I'm sure this will get larger. So if Cardano if Cardano uh, season kicks off, then, then I would expect that these would get pulled along with it. Uh, and, and that's basically, I think, all you need to know just in a quick quick 10 minutes. Um, final thing I'll say is that there has been some sort of talk going around of of some something that was written by, I believe, the Sunday Swap team about how people could expect transactions to take as long as a few days when it first launched. My impression on that is that uh, there's, they just know there's a ton of users of Cardano and that a lot of them will probably try to use the swap all at once and that it could overwhelm the blockchain, uh, especially since since I believe they're still implementing some features to scale scale cardano and and you know that does happen sometimes there's been other chains where sometimes it's taken me 12 hours to do a transaction so i'm actually not reading too much into this if that ends up being a sustained thing where transactions take days you know in another week then then yeah that's not going to be very good uh and, and that's in a nutshell what i think about sunday swap cardano definitely one that i'll be excited to watch uh, i have not decided yet whether whether i'm going to enter it uh but but it, but if uh, if it starts to get some traction, I will certainly be looking at DeFi projects in the Cardano ecosystem. Let me know what you think about Cardano down below. And also, if there's any other ecosystems or projects you want me to cover, feel free to drop a request. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.